The more I use this software and explore its capabilities, the more I'm blown away by it. It truly is an audio Swiss army knife, a central hub that connects all these disparate pieces of your live event production workflow together. And that is Llama Connect by Lean and Mean Audio. In other videos, I've covered another piece of software by them, Llama Mix. And as you can probably tell, it's a standalone audio mixer. It has incredible functionality, but you have to figure out how to get audio into it, which could be from an audio interface. But what if you want to grab it from another application or an NDI feed or maybe some remote? Well, you have to have something that is able to aggregate it and put it in the software, and that is Llama Connect. And although I think the, the biggest functionality and unlock for using it is within the Llama ecosystem with their other software suites, other players like NASCAR are using it as a Dante to NDI converter. They run Dante Virtual Sound Card on a machine, and they can send it over NDI within Llama Connect to their video network. SK Gaming over in Europe, a premier esports agency, is using it to aggregate NDI feeds into their Waves LV1 mixer and then back out again. They've got over 80 sources and it's able to keep it rock solid and it's an amazing workflow, all powered by Llama Connect. So we're going to take a deep dive today. I'm going to show you some of the core functionalities then how I've got it set up today to do a moderately complex vMix setup where I have Llama Mix handling the mix. I've got another machine here doing Llama NDI virtual sound card to do audio playback into Llama Connect. And then I will show you how we're able to handle a mix minus for Zoom, all the routing capabilities. It truly is an incredible piece of software and is now available for Linux as well. So PC and Linux. All right, so let's jump right into our demo. All right, here we are in Llama Connect. I'm gonna first get you comfortable with the user interface and the specific nodes and workflow they're gonna be using. And then we'll unpack how it's all working together with both Llama Mix and vMix to pull off the show we have today. The, uh, the use case we're gonna have is for local microphones. We got a Zoom presenter, some video playback, walk-in music. We have to do a mix minus for a Zoom presenter. And I'm going to show you how Llama Connect enables all this to happen all in one machine. What you're going to be working with mainly in Llama Connect are nodes, and that's these blue and gray rectangles. And we connect them together with the green lines, which pass audio. We also have this node down here, which is a MIDI input, and it has an orange line connecting over here. And we will come back to that. Right now we are in graph view, which shows a visual, rep visual representation of all the audio, but we also have grid view. If you want a more traditional patch view, we can also see them both at the same time. So back here to graph view, I can go over to this node, which is my main audio input. I double click and the audio device type is ASIO. And this is my audio interface, my Evo 16. So I've selected it and enabled these inputs. And now I have these sources available to me within Llama Connect. So this microphone here in front of me is going into input one on my audio interface. I've connected it here over to this node called Llama ASIO. So what is that? So over in Llama Mix, once I have Llama Connect fired up, I can go to settings, audio device, and this is true for any application, and I can select the device Llama ASIO. I now actually have 256 ins and outs from this piece of software into Llama Connect. I only have 16 of them enabled right now because I don't need 256, but now I have that. And that's how we're able to easily pass audio between applications at zero latency. Very, very cool. And so once I've selected the Llama ASIO driver in Llama Mix, if I right clicked, you see this menu at the bottom I have now popped up as Llama Mix. I've also done it in vMix. So I got both of these instances that are now able to pass audio back and forth because of Llama Connect. So we've got our main audio input or ASIO driver uh, that we're pulling in audio. We've got an application that's able to source and send audio. I've also got a Llama NDI receiver. So I've got this configured that I have my little ThinkPad here on the network. And I'm using Llama NDI Virtual Sound Card, which is a new free software you can download to basically turn any application on your network into a source or destination and put it onto your NDI network. And now I'm receiving that and that's what's getting the walk-in music. And what's cool is the outputs one and two of that is now flowing into Llama Mix. So if I go over to Llama Mix, I can now see if I bring up tunes 
that is my walk-in music coming from that other machine, all from NDI. So I don't have to use another audio over IP protocol. It's baked in, it's software-based, it's free, which is awesome. So back to Llama Connect, we can see here that I've also got an NDI merger. So this is a really cool new uh, feature from Llama and that I can take an existing video feed. So I've actually taken the main output of vMix, which would might be my program mix, and I've made a new NDI stream called Director Out. So now anyone else who's using an application that can view NDI streams, maybe I could send the multi-view to it. I can now embed multiple audio sources onto it if they want to preview something. So I can maybe send the program output, which is my main mix. I can maybe take uh, the director's microphone. I can take a comm feed. As long as I can pull it here into Llama Connect, it's available to me. And I can now remux the audio with a video stream and send it out. Very, very cool. So now moving down here to the center, I've also got a VST plugin. So this is simply taking the monitor output of Llama Mix, and then I'm running it here into Sound ID Reference. This is basically the EQ or ca calibration for my studio monitors right here that's living here. And now it's passing into a gain plugin. And I've taken the MIDI input right here, which is using a local MIDI driver called Loop MIDI. And now I'm able to twist this knob and have my own monitor controller here, right here in the studio. And so I could reach over to my audio interface, but maybe I wanna have multiple game plugins for multiple outs. It's all right here mapped to this Stream Deck Plus right in front of me. And now it's passing over to my main audio output. Okay, so that's all the nodes we have working together. And now let's let's dive a little bit more into this mess in the middle of how vMix is talking back to Llama Mix. All right, so in Llama Mix, we see here I've got Llama 1 as the input source. And again, this is this microphone. And uh, I don't have three more microphones on the premise, but we've got two, three, and four. That's where it would be. But I also have a Zoom input on Llama 5. So how am I getting that over there? So if I go over to vMix, I've added a Zoom source. If I click here to connect, I can take a video source to send it out to Zoom, but now it's also an input here in the mixer. So if I go here, it added it as zoom in, and I'm sending that to bus A. And then my audio outputs, I go over here, I've got bus A is going to uh, Llama ASIO here on output five. So if I go back, I've got output five is feeding back into Llama Mix, and that's where I'll be able to source the Zoom presenter here in the mix. Because again, I don't I want to offload what I would be traditionally doing in uh, vMix as far as audio mixing and push that all to Llama Mix and Llama Connect. I'm able to pull audio sources out of vMix into my software-based mixer all on the same machine that mix the show. And again, on Llama 9 and 10, you can see how that is routed here from this NDI receiver, which is this other uh, laptop I here, have here on the network on 9 and 10. And I've also am able to source my video playback. So right here, I've got a, uh, a video, something, uh, a little screen flow that I recorded for a client, and it has uh, my recorded dialogue. And video playback, I have going to uh, bus B. So bus B, audio out right here, is going to, Llama ASIO out seven and eight. So I've got seven and eight right here passing into inputs seven and eight in Llama Mix. Go back to Llama Mix and VPB video playback. I bring that up and those are the meters that I have. Lastly, we have a Zoom Mix Minus. We have to take our show that is happening on premise and source these microphones and be able to send them back to the Zoom presenter so they can have a dialogue. So I've got these microphones and I've created an aux called Zoom Mix Minus, and I have each of these four microphones sent to this Mix Minus, and that Mix Minus is going out of Llama Mix on Llama 5. So if I go here to Llama ASIO, I see output five is running into input five on vMix. Going back to vMix, I've got my Zoom Mix Minus input here, which is running in here on the input that's over here. Again, that's sourcing it from input five. And now I can go to my Zoom. I can say, hey, actually, I want you to source bus C, which is actually getting the mix minus feed from Llama, Llama Mix. So I can connect and test that. Now I've got bi-directional audio for what's happening on premise with these microphones and sending it over to the mix minus. All right, we covered a lot of ground there. So let me do a quick recap. 
within Llama Connect, you have nodes. We can source audio ASIO devices. So this could be a local audio interface. We can take NDI sources from an NDI receiver. So this is the machine on the network I have doing walk-in music or tunes. We can also use Llama ASIO to send audio in and out of applications. So this is how I'm stitching together our software-based mixer, Llama Mix, over to vMix. And then I had those outputs that can run into a Llama NDI merger that can remux a uh, NDI video feed with new audio sources. We can also host VST plugins, and I'm using this right here to calibrate my monitors with EQ. And I've also made a handy dandy gain plugin with a MIDI input that's able to control it here from my Stream Deck Plus. All this runs to the audio output in my audio interface that can feed my monitors. I can use Llama Mix to create mix minuses. I can operate faders here um, and I'm easily able to pass the audio back and forth between them because of the Llama ASIO driver that is housed with Llama Connect. I hope this demo shows you just how powerful and flexible Llama Connect is, especially when housed within the entire Llama ecosystem. You can download a free trial for yourself at the link below, and you can use eight ins and outs simultaneously for free and start testing it out. I'm Michael Curtis. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.